Hey Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm going to be teaching you Roller Coaster by Little Walter on an A harmonica. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please click like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. I put out a free harmonica lesson every single week, so make sure you're subscribed and you get my notifications so that you know every time I put a free lesson up. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you the first section of Roller Coaster by Little Walter absolutely free. If you'd like to learn the full song with a full in-depth lesson and downloadable tab, you can get that via the link below the video to the premium lesson. I've also just launched a members area of my website where you can get all of my premium lessons for an affordable monthly fee. So do check out the link beneath the video for that as well. Okay, now let's crack straight on with this. There's loads to get through. I've got a big tab sheet here and I've got four sheets, I think, worth of tab. Now, the difficult thing with roller coaster, well, one of the difficult things, it, there's a lot in it. Uh, the difficult thing that I wanted to mention is that there's no structure as such. You know, there, there aren't chord changes. It's kind of this just vamping kind of thing that just, just chugs away. I mean, it's an amazing piece of harmonica playing, but it's very difficult to split it into sections. So I put it into lines, but we're going to have to just plow through one after another after another. I'm going to have to be pretty um, cutthroat, just kind of, here's line A, play through it, tell you a bit about it briefly, here's line B, here's line C, because we've got so much to go through. So without further ado, let's have a listen to the first little section. So there's a little kind of guitar intro. So, no harp, this is the easy bit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, now, first point of contention, there's a little thing I've put in brackets right at the start. I've put a three and four draw warble. Uh, I've put it in brackets because I'm not even 100% sure it's there. I think there's a guitar part doing a similar um, melody just before the before the harmonica comes in and then I think the harp kind of joins it but it's I'm uncertain exactly when anyway if we're including the bit in brackets then I've got so three four draw warble and then a just a three draw on its own and then four five blow warble and then four draw with a bit of a scoop upwards four blow and then three draw with a bit of a scoop, so. Now that's a little bit of a phrase that is repeated a few times, more or less. It, it's varied slightly, so if you look at line B, they, they've definitely got that warble, that starting warble, and they don't have the little three draw kind of after that. So they're straight into the 4-5 blow. And then they do a 4-5 draw warble as well. Instead of the little scoop on 4. And then they're the same 4 blow and 3 draw with a little scoop. So... Like that. So the first one... I think it's something like that. And then... And then C again. So B and C are the same. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be people who disagree with me. People always get kind of caught up when it comes to Little Walter. I'm just giving you my interpretation. I tabbed this out with a private student and this is uh, kind of what we came up with. So that's the first line, the first few lines. Now you could come in sooner or later with those if you wanted to join in with that kind of guitar rhythm uh, and 
you might want to think about your own little variations, not always doing the warble, not always doing the scoop, that sort of thing. But that's the general gist of those first few lines before we get into kind of the main head of the melody. Oh, I should mention, sometimes the warbles have a bit of a scoop on them. So what I mean by that is you're starting with a bit of a bend into those warbles. So you're not just... There's kind of a... Can you hear the difference? There's a little doop. I'm kind of starting on the three, bending up that and then going to the wall. Anyway, just something to uh, bear in mind. So let's hear B and C, which we just played. Oops. So that's B. This is D. Okay, so I've got... So, really, really nice. It's difficult stuff to play as well. It's kind of rhythmically, he's sort of, uh, sort of like fighting the back background rhythm sometimes. Anyway, two draw, one draw, two draw. And then three draw, full step bend. Three draw, natural down to the, around the full step, although it's not an exact science. And then that two draw, one draw, two draw. And then three draw full step bend, and then two draw with a bit of a bend down. So, so you'll notice that the uh, the three draw natural note that bends down, and then the note right at the end, the two draw natural note that bends down, the end note isn't an exact thing it's kind of a roll off I, I call it a roll off i don't know what the name for it is maybe you know the name but basically the the starting note is the melody note if you like and you're just coming away from it it's just a bluesy effect it's not that you're aiming to get down to a specific note and you're not holding when you get down there so just just like that as, as soon as you're down there you're off so i i don't know if i hit the second bend there you know, I wasn't aiming to hit it in tune, if you get me. It's just a kind of a little effect. Okay, I'm waffling. Sorry, there's so much to think about. I'm going to have to be quicker. So line E. <laughs> Lovely. So... That's the other thing about these lines. Sometimes it's hard to even decide when to go from one line to the next, where to split up these phrases because they're so free-flowing and there's so much kind of just joined up stuff. But line E there, we've got two draw, three draw full step bend, two draw, and then a three draw with a little scoop upwards, and then two draw. And then four draw, um, four draw bend, three draw, two draw. And then two, uh, three draw full step, and then one draw, two draw, two, uh, sorry, one draw, two blow, three blow, two blow. And then just a two draw to finish. So. Okay. And then our first kind of uh, run up to the five draw. This is lovely. <laughs> So it's basically two, three, four, five, draw, and then five draws played twice at the end. And there's maybe a bit of a scoop on the three draw as you go up, up to you. I haven't put that in the tab, but you might want to do that. The five draw, he is kind of scooping that. He, he's starting with a bit of a bend and releasing. Now, I haven't put it in the tab because the five draw... That it doesn't bend a semitone, so it's not. It's like on a piano, you, you can't. With the five draw, if you imagine it's, you know, the. whatever it would be on here, it'd be the D. I think it'd be a D. Um, imagine it's the D key. You can't get down to the D flat, the C sharp, because that would be the blow note. But you can get between two keys. You can kind of sort of get this somewhere, this kind of nothing bend in the middle. So it's kind of doing that. Like that, so you can hear the movement. Uh, okay, so F. Um, so that's that. 
Okay, so that's line G. I'm going to start slowing it down a bit now. Okay, so line G. And I think I'm going to stop reading out every single piece of the tab because you can see it on the screen, obviously. Um, so I think what I'll do is just kind of put play it at different speeds and demo it for you and maybe talk about any things that, that need to be talked about. Um, so line G, if I take that down to 50% speed. So just something to think about, if you're looking at the tab for that, there might be some scoops. Scoops seem to be order of the day today. Um, there might be some more of them in this line, just because hearing uh, hearing it back then, there's, there's a few notes that kind of come up. That is going to be all over the place. You'll hear that everywhere in blues harmonica playing. So it's something that I'm not always going to put in the tab, just because it would make every line so long, just trying to denote that little scoop. So... Um, yeah, give give or take those scoops out as you want to. So line H. And a bit slower. And even slower again. Very subtle, this one. After that initial warble, that bit is really hard to hear. I think that's what he's doing. The one draw, two blow, three blow, two blow, one draw. Like that. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and then... Again, the warbles, he's probably kind of scooping into them a bit, bending into them. Uh, line I. <laughs> I played a bit of J there as well. Let's slow down line I. That's it. Okay, so... Now this is hard to hear, so I've kind of tapped it as a 3-4 draw that he puts a bit of a bend on. I'm going to slow it down even more. You're getting to the point where it's just noise there, but I've kind of got a bit of a... Kind of like that, 3-4 together that bends, and he starts to warble them a little bit, and then he goes into a full warble, but he's kind of bending the three four draw a bit at that point still when he goes into the warble and then three draw full step bend two draw twice a tricky one that um but uh yeah that's what i've got for that so line j it's getting really kind of mile a minute now Okay, so... Notice I've put a three blow in there instead of a two draw. Sometimes you might want to do a three blow tactically. There's a lot of advantages to the two draw. You can bend it, you can get vibrato, the tone, the chordal stuff, you can play around it are all great. But I think maybe he did a three blow there, and if he didn't, well, it, you know, it's up to you, but you might want to put one in because it gives you a chance to play a blow note when a lot of the rest of the stuff is a draw. Okay, line K. They're all quite short lines at the moment. Okay. Da -da -da. That's it for K. <laughs> So, now I've put in this line two blow, three blow, two blow, two draw. Now that two, the second two blow, you could maybe leave out, you could. But 
I reckon he sort of goes back to the two. He doesn't quite hit it as he gets back. It's kind of like that. It's sort of there, but not there. Anyway, maybe that's bullshit. I don't know. Um, but two blow, three blow, and then two draw if you want. Again, I, I thought, because it sounds like he's trying to go do did it. I think he was doing a three blow, but you might just want to go if you're not doing the second two blow. Anyway, <laughs> line L now is a little bit longer, so there's a bit more to get our teeth into. <sighs> really nice, really building. He was just a genius, the stuff he did. <laughs> Slower still. So we've got those those starting bits. You kind of go in one draw twice and then onto the blow. Do de do de do do de. And then the fourth time, do do, the two blow isn't really there. That was that was what threw me off when I was playing it. So he kind of goes. It's not it's not there. It's almost a breath. And then. Okay, so that's L. Let's go on to line M. Really nice. Okay, so again, we've got a ghost note in the middle there. The three blow. If we slow that down even more, you might want to put that in. Up to you, you might just... But I think there's something in there. Maybe just a little breath out around hole three. So I put it in as an option. How are you doing, by the way? I hope you're doing okay. This is, as I said, it's relentless. So um, I'm sorry I've not been able to split up into any kind of logical sort of um, structure, if you like. I'm just plowing through, but I hope you're doing okay out there. Let me know in the comments how you're doing. Um, okay, so where am I? Line N. Oh, let's go back up to full speed. Okay, and then back down. So. Oh yeah, this is a nice one, because again, there's a really quiet bit in there. So can you hear that? Do do do. Just right at the end there, just into line O. So. It's in there, so uh, let's put it in. Line O. Pretty simple enough, line O. So that takes us to the end of the first line of my tab. There's three more pages to get through. If you'd like to learn the full song from start to finish, do check the link below the video. I'm selling it both as a downloadable lesson, just standalone lesson on its own. So there's a link to that. And also you can get it as part of my new members section of my website. There's a link to that as well. I'm offering for a monthly fee for all of my premium lessons available uh, whenever you want. And I'm gonna put up a new lesson every single week to my premium lessons as well as my uh, YouTube lessons. So do check that out as well. Thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed trying out uh, Roller Coaster by Little Walter with me. Do leave your comments beneath the video and please click like, share this video and most of all subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell as I put out a free harmonica lesson every single week. Until I see you again, good luck with your practice and see you soon. Cheers.